got the wrong screen on again. What a donkey. One second, chat. You know what I mean. <laughs> One minute. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you all for coming in. Back on GC7. Um, we're going to do just a couple of uh, races from the back of the grid on USA and see how it goes. I'm in the Citroen. I felt like just using different stuff and just... Yeah, we're not going to go with the Alpha. We're just going to mess around a little bit and... Um, have a little bit of fun. See what it goes like. So, wait there. We, oh, you can't do setup, can we? Oh, one minute before I get in this. Make sure I change that. Jeez, that would have been awful. <laughs> I had the iRacing settings on. That would have been um, interesting, to say the least. Um, let me just make sure I go out here and make sure it um, activates it properly. But yeah, thank you all for coming in. Second stream of the day. We did iRacing this morning. Did not go very well. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, we had no lock. We had no lock on iRacing yet again. It was like, it was a little bit frustrating, but let's see if we can have a bit of fun on the USA server. Um, not going to go the Alpha, because I'm bored of that Alpha already. Um, so yeah, just, we'll go the Citroen here, see what that's like. See how it goes. Have just a bit of fun. And um, yeah, it'll probably only be like two hours, by the way, chat, because we did three and a half. Well, just under three and a half this morning, so... Um, yeah, just a little two hours here. And then tomorrow, um, possibly GT. Well, I don't know. Might do split stream. I don't know yet. Right, let's go. Thank you all for coming in, by the way. Don't forget to get the early like in there. It all helps me out massively. Let's see if we can um, get back. I haven't even driven a lap yet since I racing, so got to get back used to it. I haven't even driven this car, actually, since Monday, I think, because we moved to the Alpha, didn't we? I think we changed to the um, Alpha. Yeah, I, can't, I, I, I don't really want to do a six hour in one go, in all honesty. My arms, that's what kills my arms, chat. It's better for me to break up the streams than do, um, than do like, one long one. My arms, yeah, it's just, it's just more of a, um, it's a better, better just to give my arm a rest in the day and have a break in between the streams at the moment. That's why I'm kind of breaking them up a bit. But to be honest, iRacing really peed me off today and yesterday. Like, there are, to be honest, at the moment, good. my arms are good. But while, while I'm doing the stretches with them and um, they're starting to feel better, I don't want to overdo it and cause it to go bad again. So just trying to be sensible with it. But yeah, I racing really pissed me off this morning. Right, let's try and get back used to this Citroen. Right, we got the inside here. Up here. Ooh. Oh, do I? Oh, they're all pitting early. Going for the early stop chat. Come on, Citroen, get that slipstream. Give me that slip. Hey, that NSX is pretty quick on the straights. Don't even think I've got enough to... No, we haven't got enough straight lines to do it. Right, we'll go around the outside. Nicely done. 
I had to do a bit of sh weird shifting there to stop it on the steering. Alright, let's push, 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 push. <laughs> I think that's what we need to remember um, on, on GT. I know that... Imagine the carnage on GT if G Gran Turismo had that racing damage model. Could you imagine how many races you'd actually finish on this game if that was the case? Like, that's one thing you have to remember. Like, but I wish that people would drive the game knowing that the damage model was like that, if you know what I mean. I feel like people drive the game like it's Gran Turismo, whereas you should be driving the game like it's iRacing. And that, you know, like real life, if you have contact, that could be your race over. But on iRacing, people just drive it like it is GT. They don't give a shit. They're like, oh, I'm going to send it. If I hit you, I don't care. And that, that's not the mentality I think they should have. Nah, I don't think they are squids. I don't think they are. I mean, if you go into the real top lobbies on iRacing, um, I don't think they are, mate. In all honesty, I've got to be brutally honest. There's like, there's about a foul. There's so many drivers that are like the likes of Baptist, Josetti. There's, there's just hundreds of them. But the problem is, you've got to get to like to get to them lobbies. Is just you'd have to try hard and like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to try hard iRacing because. I want it for a bit of a break up in content, but um, yeah, if you added, if you had the same damage model on I, on this game as you have in iRacing, I bet you hardly anyone would ever finish a race. I've got to be honest with you, not many people would finish a race because you'd have damage, your car would be wrecked, it'd take ten minutes to fix it, and like you'd never, you'd hardly ever finish a race. Yeah, imagine Kimmy with iRace. <laughs> but you can't add that kind of damage on this game because there's no reporting system, obviously. There's no system to report it. That's that's where the problem is. to overtake this jack, don't I? Alright, let's see if we can catch up these other two now. Oh dear, Dwight's left. He's obviously had some sort of chaos. Okay, fair play, he's bumping. Oh shit, drift it, catch it, be useful, use third. <laughs> nice, nicely does it. <laughs> I had to downshift to catch the drift there. I had to just do a nice little downshift. Gary, you legend, man. Thank you very much for the 38 months of support, mate. Appreciate it. Smash, smash that legend right there for Gary, please. Long-term support on the channel. Nice to see you, Gary. Right, let's try and catch these up. Push a bit more than I am right now. Ah, oh, and the dono, Gary. You're a legend, mate. Thank you very much for the one pound, mate. Smash that legend mode again for Gary, please. Oh crap, that's wide. Okay, he's changing tires at the front, isn't he? Let's try and get them lap times back down.
Pio is up a lot, yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, Pio wrote the book as well. Apparently, Pio wrote the book, chat. <laughs> I saw you quit. I thought it was a bit of chaos, Dakota. I thought it was a bit of chaos. I don't know what happened to you. Did you just bin it? To lift off the pro oh shit that's a penalty oh i hate that penalty as well because you lose time but you get a penalty for it normally yeah it's so stupid like uh, pd fix your penalty shit i think we still got dirty tires there feels like we got dirty tires Goodness me, what am I doing? I think the Jag will out accelerate us here, but he is on the outside here where you lose a bit of pace. I didn't want to let this guy pass a bit faster. Although his tyres would die anyway, I think. Hey, he's gone deep there anyway. Right, hopefully if we push now, we might be able to get enough of a gap to not lose the position. Although these tyres are starting to die already. I feel like they're on their way out. Just got another pedal. God's sake. What a donkey. What an absolute donkey. Okay, well, we've screwed it, chat. We've screwed it. <laughs> oh my god, why am I driving so bad? Do I pit early and before these do to try and get some clean air? But I don't know if we will. That's if I this car's not turning, chat. What's going on there? I don't know if I just got another penalty. Oh, fuck you, Gran Turismo. Seriously, I've just backed out as well. I really hope Gran Turismo 8 gets them penalty systems sorted because that is so frustrating when that happens. If you gain an advantage, fair enough. But when you've lifted and you've run wide and lost lap time, there's no reason the game should be giving you a penalty. It doesn't make any sense. It's even worse. I, I don't even think we're in the top 10, you know, because of these penalties. I think we've lost way too much time. There was a 57 on lap 6. They might have done the roulette ticket like algorithm as well. 
You have to be way less aggressive on the throttle than with the Alpha and that corner, because the Alpha, like, rotates. This doesn't. This has just got so much understeer in the corners. That's the classic one. Um, that's that is the classic one when you you lose control. You've got heavy damage on. You spin out. I mean, they they have had it before with heavy damage as well. Wall penalties and heavy damage. Like heavy damage, wall penalties. You spin out. You hit the wall. You get heavy damage. You lose lap time. Your car's knackered, and you get a wall penalty as well. <laughs> have that. <laughs> yeah, we've we've not really gained anything in this race, chat. We've had a nightmare. We've had a nightmare, unfortunately. I don't even think we'll be in the top ten because of all we lost about we've lost about six, seven seconds in this race, maybe more, probably more than that. No, the brake balances will help the car rotate, Chad. I've got I've got brake balance that helps rotation, mate. That's to the rear, which means the car's going to rotate more. If you have it to the front, that will cause more understeer. I, I, I think a lot of people get confused with the brake bias. Just so you know, rear brake bias gives you more rotation. Front brake bias gives you more understeer. I think so many people don't understand how that works, but it's something you need to learn because obviously it makes you a bit faster. But yeah, rear brake bias for more rotation. Front brake bias will make the car understeer more. So be more stable. Yeah, uh, are you not are you not enjoying that car on the new time trial? So yeah, the new car is not the um it, that that new time trial is a bit I get what you mean. It's not the most enjoyable car, it's weird, isn't it? We haven't had a very good race here. <laughs> Not a very good race at all. But if you take out all the penalties, we're probably in the top five. Just the penalties alone would have took us past all these cars. He's letting us go. I'm quite surprised he's letting us go there. We'll give it another go in the Citroen. I feel like the Citroen can do better than what we've done here. We just got a bit unlucky. First race on. A few dodgy penalties. We can definitely do better. Um, I think it'll be um, this, it'll be the NSX if it's Group 2 next week, chat. It'll be the NSX 16. If it's a Group 2 race, everyone will be in the NSX. So, yeah, I, I don't think you'll be using any of the old cars. Lexus maybe for tyre wear. I think it can do quite well on the tyre wear, the Lexus, but the NSX will probably be the car for the race, I would think. If if it's Group 2, that is. Well, that was poo. That was a poo one. <laughs> Not very good. Not very good. Ah. We'll go again with the Citroen. We'll give it another go. We'll give it another go. <laughs> oh, can't. 
No, you can't. I was going to say, you can't do what I thought you might be able to do. You can't. Uh, like. Hate the long wait in between the races on this. Yeah, brake bias does have effects on tire wear, just not as exaggerated as, as it was on GT Sport. But G brake bias does affect tire wear, like it does. Uh, it does make a difference, but it it's not as much of a difference as it used to be on GT Sport. Obviously, on on GT Sport, your brake bias was massive for saving tires. It was like really important. But on this game, it still does make a difference, though. Just to make it clear, it does help. <laughs> Let's see if we can not get any penalties this time. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? <laughs> Try and avoid penalties. By the way, don't forget to get that, that um, early like in the chat. We're nearly at the 30-minute mark. Feel free to subscribe. We'll be probably live. Um, probably going to do stream before the foot, like a couple of hours before the football match is on. I think tomorrow we might do some lobbies. I don't know. Might do some um, just GC3 lobbies on on this, and then we might if I've if I've got time, I might do iRacing in the night, or I might just have the night off because we have done quite a bit of streaming this week. To be fair, I think I think we'll be heading after tomorrow. We'll be getting for nearly 40 hours of live. Well, it'll be about 37, 38 hours of live, just live content. So we've done a fair bit this week. Considering there's no GT World Series on as well. And considering the dailies are shite. <laughs> they're not shite, they're just not the best, to be honest. Next week's looks more interesting. I I hope it's not a really short daily race seat. I hope it's at least 20 minutes. I want it to be like a 20 minute race. That'll make it a bit more interesting. 13, how long will 13 laps be in group two? One minute 30 a lap. So that would take us to six minutes. Yeah, so if it's 13 laps, that could be quite interesting because when you'd pit, it could be like a soft tires times six, times six tire wear on soft tires in group two. I'm pretty sure they'll be dying after like seven or eight laps. So it'd be very, very interesting when you pit, whether you go for good or bad tires at the end or, you know, try and get the undercut. There will be some um, interesting strategies for next week's Daily Race see of how you go about it. Like pitting early, you could pit like lap four maybe and get an undercut, but then you'll struggle at the end. Yeah, we had a nightmare in that last race. <laughs> Must have had about, I don't know how many penalties we got, but we got quite a few. I don't know why that didn't stay there. You're right, Dustin. Right, this race chart, let's see if we can get a top five in the Citroen. It's hard. The only thing is, if there's people in the Alpha, it's hard to beat the Alpha in the Citroen, but we'll do our best. Ah, nice, Dustin, nice. So yeah, tomorrow chat, I, I have to finish early tomorrow for the, when, when we start streaming. I've got to be finished by three o'clock because I've got a um, football date with the little one. <laughs> We've got a football date watching Man United versus Liverpool. So I will be finishing at three o'clock because she, she, wants, she wants her revenge from the um, FA Cup. <laughs> she wants revenge from the FA Cup, so. We've got our snacks ready, and we're going to watch the football together tomorrow. No, 
No, I'll never say soccer for football because it's not called soccer, it's called football. <laughs> Place a bet with her. Yeah. Jota has started training. How are they? Should be made up. She's been missing him. She's been missing Jota. Anyone who will, anyone will tell you that football is not called soccer. <laughs> this is not called soccer. It's called football because you kick it with your foot. Oh shit, I forgot to break. Ah! Anyway, chat. What? What? Um, what? What is Daily B again? Next week is it? Um, what track is Daily B? I can't remember. Is it Deep Forest next week for Daily B? I can't. I can't remember what track it is. Just trying to work out what the so Daily A is the um, meme race, isn't it? Um, so Daily Race A is the, the meme race, um, S Route X. <laughs> it's going to be in pre-tuned cars, isn't it? Like pre-done ones. Um, Daily B, I can't, I can't remember what it is for Daily, Daily B. Let me have a look. I'll have to have a look at my own posts. Have a little look. I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, Deep Forest. Oh, and what tires is that? Ooh, hard tires. That's probably gonna be. I reckon it'll be Group Three because I reckon it'll be Group Three for Daily Race B because Daily Race C is not Group Three. So because Daily Race C is gonna be Group Two or Group One. I reckon that Daily Race B will be Group 3 because they'll want to make sure there's a Group 3 race on when there's... when Daily C isn't Group 3, obviously. So, yeah, I reckon... Because this week's Daily C is Group 4, we won't have a Group 4 race next week. It'll be Group 3 for Daily Race B and then Group 2, possibly, for Daily Race C and then, obviously, the um, Group X. Yeah, I think it'll be Group 3, Squids. I think that as well. No, the, the, the soccer is not the right name. <laughs> it's it's football. <laughs> it's football, chat. What I don't get is why is American football called American football when you hardly ever touch it with your butt? Like, but like you literally you kick. You got the odd kick things that on the um, but the the like when they have to do the kicks over the bar thing, whatever it is. But that's the only time they kick it. They run with it in the hand the majority of the time. So why is it called football? don't understand that like american football they don't even play with their foot mainly <laughs> makes zero sense to me yeah the field goals that's it should be called american handball yeah <laughs> or american rugby that'd make more sense american rugby because it kind of is basically american rugby isn't it it's America's version of rugby. That's that. That's what it is. Let's be brutally honest about it. American football is America's version of rugby. That's more like what it is. Yeah, that, exactly, Robert. It is. It is their version of rugby. But I don't know why they called it football. <laughs> it doesn't make sense.
to be honest, man, I think rugby is a more brutal game than American football. If you ever watch them rugby players, fucking hell. <laughs> they're, they're brutal. Absolutely brutal. Right, let's try this again. See if we can um, have a better race this time. Damien, what car are you in? Don't be in the Alpha. You're in the Alpha. You best not be in that Alpha, Damien. Can't see. No, he's in the Citroen. I'll let you off, Damien, just this once. <laughs> well, Amer honestly, P.O. man, rugby is brutal, mate. So American football's brutal as well, obviously, but so is rugby, mate. really like rugby though i've never been a fan of rugby it's never really um it's never really appealed to me rugby just doesn't i've played it at school on that i don't mind playing it when i was at school but i've never really enjoyed watching it not been something i particularly i've ever wanted to play like in, like watch on the telly When are you pitting, Damien? If they all pit lap one, I'm not. <laughs> you right, Andrew? How are we, mate? Drift it. Oh, there's a bit of side by side. Oh, three wide. Oh, God. Uh oh, there's going to be chaos up here, chat. Get ready for some eye racing lap one chaos. Here we go. Go on. Give us some eye racing chaos. Show us, show us that Gran Turismo can match eye racing for chaos. Come on, you lot can do it. It's gonna happen. There you go. That's what we love to see. <laughs> That's. What, I'm used to that after this morning chat. I'm used to it. That's what I'm used to seeing. After eye racing stream this morning, that kind of racing is what I'm used to seeing. At least I got away and got lucky that time. What is going on already in this race? <laughs> to be fair, I think I missed him, you know. I think I avoided him with the dodge. I think the ghosting was an advantage, but I think I actually... Um, I think I actually got away with it. I should have pitted there because that car's got a penalty. Let's see if we can get a good lap in, though, and then pit after this. Get a bit of slip off the jag. Now, can you imagine if that was full damage on at the start of that chat? Just imagine the chaos, the destruction. Oh, someone's been reset to track there.
hope that's not. I hope it's not, chat. <laughs> I don't know, though. I don't know. It was close. It definitely understeered. I'm risking it because I could have bailed the pits, but I, want, I don't want to... If we bail that, we've lost too much time, so... I don't know, it would be close because you can get away with that sometimes. Is it? Is it? <laughs> That's what you call when you have the YouTuber car, chat. You all need to get hold of one of these YouTuber cars. A little bit wider. Well, actually, a little bit thinner in that. So what happens is, on that situation, the car goes thinner and gives you an advantage. Jump Damien there with that pit stop. He must have had a bit of chaos on that lap. Oh, there's chaos. There's smoke. There's another car off. Ah, oh, it's the white. The white is having no luck on this today. The Dakota, mate. The Dakota is having no luck at all. Come on. Uh, that was a bit slow. That was a bit slow. Thank you for the gifted membership, you legend. Chat, smash that legend right there for Ian, please. Thank you very much for the gifted legend. You know what to do, chat. Big thumbs up and legend shout out there for Ian, please. Appreciate all the support on the channel, Ian. Just kept it in. Evening, Holty. That's what I was like on Iris in Dakota Man. <laughs> Just frustrated with, well, wasn't really frustrated with myself. I was frustrated with other people. <laughs> I was very frustrated this morning with the other drivers on it. I.
catching this car up. Gonna get a bit of on the sea now though. If I get a penalty, I got hit off the track, Gran Turismo. How can I get a penalty for that? Like, come on. Like, normally that will avoid the penalty when you get hit like that. That's so annoying. We were driving really well then as well. And then, boom. Pushed off the track. Have a penalty for it. Well done. Yeah, the game remembered the penalty. That's annoying. I was pulling away from Damien. I'm gutted about that, but... And now I've got to overtake this bloody car again, but I'm not... He just pushed me out of the way. What's he doing? He just ran... So he pushed me off, gave me a penalty. And now he just ran me out of the way. This is annoying because we're losing time now. And I don't really think we should have had a penalty there. I think that was his fault. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting it to be a fair after he pushed us off before. I kind of expected it after he pushed us off before. Should have just, yeah. I wanted to give him a bit of bit of medicine back, to be honest, because he pushed he pushed me out of the way twice. So I was going to return the favour, but he did that on purpose. He did that. He, he turned into me and pushed me out. Oh well, another race ruined. Well done, Chief Apollo. Hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah. I think it's one of them days, you know. I feel like it's one of them days when no matter what game we play, it's not it's just gonna go like that every time. Like every race we have it's gonna go like that.
We'll try again, chat. We'll try again. <laughs> We were actually were on for a very good result in that before we came across that um, nutter. Because we were doing some pretty good lap times. You, you can see where we came across him 52 9, 52 8, 56. <laughs> That's where we met our um, friend. No worries, Damon, man. Enjoy your walk. I mean, we could have we could have been close to a podium in that. We could have been very close to the podium. Mm. I'm not. Even, I'm not even going to waste my time. Messaging him. Can't, I can't even be bothered. Can't be bothered. We'll just go again. We'll just return the favour if we're if we're side by side with him. <laughs> we'll give him some of his own medicine. Well, let me open that window. Why? Why is that shut? I know why I shut it. I shut it because of the wind, didn't I? It was windy before. Oh, by the way, chat, we're five minutes away from the one-hour mark. If you haven't hit that like button, it's a massive help. Feel free to subscribe as well. That all helps us out. Oh, by the way, as well, whoever used the affiliate link over the last few days, thank you so much for using that. It's much appreciation. Helps me out massively. Ah, uh, no worries, Dakota. Have you tried using the Citroen instead, mate? Like, I think the Alpha's a bitch to drive. The Citroen is easier to drive. And to be really honest, it's not... I'm I in my own pace without Slipstream, I'm doing 52s with it. And that's pretty... I mean, I'm a couple of attempts quicker in the Alpha, but... It's, this is easier to drive. It's, it does get a bit more understeer, but it's an easier car. You might do better in the Citroen than, than the Alpha. Don't be fooled into thinking you have to go the Alpha, because I think the Citroen can still compete to a degree, and it's easier to drive, so you might have more fun in the Citroen than you do in that Alpha. Yeah, yeah, Gary. <laughs> P.O., P.O., yeah, I'm sure it was you, P.O., as well, yeah. Yeah, P.O. apparently now has his own warehouse. So if you're wondering why you're struggling to get any Fanatec stock, it's because of P.O. <laughs> he bought it all. He's got his own warehouse now. He's selling it on the black market for double price. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, P.O., yeah. Good luck with that. Affiliated warehouse, yeah. Ooh, the understeer. Let's just see so, right? I've got off the throttle completely. Let me just see so. Right, explain that to me there, right, chap? I literally came off the throttle. There, there needs to be, on Gran Turismo 7, there needs to be some sort of, like, calling off time for that penalty to see whether you lift and let the... Um... There used to be a, a calling off time on... Um... I swear on GT Sport, if you lifted and let, like, let go of the throttle... 
you'd very often not get a penalty. On this game, it doesn't seem to work very well. It's like, it's just like, nah, you're having a penalty. Screw you. Same people that do VAR. <laughs> True. Ah, uh, good stuff, Nick. Yeah, I had a um, bit of a... Um, had a bit of a... Coming together with that Apollo guy. We were on for... I think we were battling for a P3 in that. I, re I reckon we were fighting for a P3 because we were in one second ahead of Damien and, and I was driving well. And then, um, boom. We came across Apollo and that was our race over. Yeah, Nick is the Apollo guy. Nah, he, it was the Alpha, wasn't it? Nick wasn't the Alpha. I'm starving. I've had no dinner, chat. I've just realised again, I've had no dinner. Well, I don't know why I keep doing this. I'll have to make myself some poached egg on toast after the stream. After I finish streaming, make myself some poached egg on toast. Three poached egg, one piece of toast. Gotta be, um, grand... Like... The granulated to uh, bread. Do you know what, Charles? Well, after I finished the first stream this morning, I decided to give my car a little bit of a clean because it's not been done. But I, I haven't done a like hand wash myself yet this year because it's been too cold. And it was, it was quite nice. So I was like, right, I'm going to give it a wash. Gave it a wash. Dried it all with the towels. Did the alloys properly. Put the wet and black on the tyres. Put the um, um, hybrid ceramic coating on it. Looked lovely. Went in the gym, come out, and it's pissing out. Pissing down. The weather said it was going to be dry throughout the evening. And then I come out of the gym, and it's pissing down. Literally wasted, <laughs> wasted my car <laughs> okay. Everything's going wrong today, Jack. Everything's going wrong. So yeah, I'm, I, it'll be it'll have all raindrops all over it tomorrow. <laughs> the only benefit of the ceramic coating, though, is it, it, it's the um, Maguire ceramic one. When you spray it on. The rain just literally washes off instantly. It, like, just... It just instantly, like... Like, funnels off. It's really good how it does it. You're right, Damien. That guy ruined my race. <laughs> First of all, he gave me a penalty when he knocked me off the track. Then he decided to brake really late. I think he hit you in the braking zone, didn't he? Because he braked too late. And then he, like... I think he was annoyed because I was on the inside, but he, he just cut across us. And then he took me out in the next corner... And then he completely wiped me out after that. <laughs> I did send it on him, though. In fairness, I did send it on him because I was pissed off with him for the way he was driving. So he then took me out. Ah, 12 months, Damien, you legend. 12 months of free membership. Thanks, you lot. You're not as lucky as Peel yet, though, are you? But you do have your one-year badge now. Smash that legend vote there for Damien, chat. Thank you for that legend. Right, I'm going to go for a wee, chat. I'm going to go for a pre-race wee. Race starts in a couple of minutes, so let's go for a wee. How many likes did we get up to? Um, 115 likes, chat. 250 people in the stream. One hour. <clears throat> let's make it 200 likes, chat. I'm sure we can get up to 200 likes. So if you haven't smashed that like button yet, it helps me out. It helps the channel out. It, it's just, yeah, it helps all the algorithm and all that. So I'm very grateful. We do this every day, full time. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. And you'll probably see some chaos, some okay driving, but a lot of chaos. Right, back in a second. Going to go for a wee.
Alright, I'm back. <laughs> ah, my nose again. Yes, that's weird. <laughs> Wait one minute, yeah. It's starting to go, but every now and then. Just muted you while I was blowing me nose, sorry. No one wants to hear snot coming out, as I say. <clears throat> Need new gloves, actually. Got holes in them again. We have to buy some more. I had a look on um, Amazon, and it was like um, three month wait. I was like, no, thank you, because I need size eleven. I was like, I'm not waiting three months. And so I went on Demon Tweaks, and there was another set of gloves, and I don't know which ones to get because <laughs> they look like they might be grippier. So I'm like in two minds, what to do, whether to go with these ones again or get the other ones that might be grippier. So I might try the other gloves. I don't know yet. Callin, how are we, legend? Thank you for the $10, mate. Smash that legend mote there for Callin, please, for the $10 dono. Hey, old man. How are we, Callin? Thank you for the support on the channel, you legend. Hope you're well. All right, let's... Is he in here again? Are you in here, Mr. Apollo? Our Apollo friend isn't in, is he? I mean, that's probably a good thing. Put slippers on our hands. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I I mean, I, there is, you can use golf gloves, but the only thing with golf gloves is they'll wear pretty quick on this, I think, on the wheel. They'll wear quite aggressively. Whereas there is another set. If you go on Demon Tweaks chat, if you're in the UK, Demon Tweaks website, it's a car. I've had my car done stuff there ages ago. It's not far from me. They sell sim racing gear and they um, they do all the different gloves. They do these and they do um, another set of gloves. They're about similar. They're I think they're a bit cheaper, actually. But they, they might have a grippier feel, but they look a bit... They do look a bit cheaper. I might try them just to see what they're like. I don't know yet. I might just give them a go. If they're shit, I'll just have to buy another one, a better pair of these again in the future. Right, not this bloody... Sock again. Irritating me. Yeah, cycling gloves as well will work. These are Sparco Hypergrip Plus. So Sparco Hypergrip Plus. These have lasted a while as well. I've had these nearly a year now. But yeah, the Sparco Hypergrip Plus is what I'm using now. They're pretty good gloves, but they're not perfect for this wheel because they don't um, they don't grip enough. This is a weird material on this extreme wheel. It's vegan leather and it's very very slippery. So you need to get. I need some grippier gloves. So I might try them other ones on the website on the um, Demon Tweaks website. Oh. <laughs> oh, go on, Damien. Fight, fight, fight. Break early because there possibly be chaos. Give myself time to react. Still side by side. <laughs> uh. Still side by side now. idea what vegan leather is but that's what this wheel rim is made of vegan leather apparently just giving Damien some um, something to look at while he's pitting there I thought I'll just deliberately kick the rear out <laughs> whoopsie oh 
massive on the sim. Why did it do that? That was weird. vegan so that's where <laughs> it is quite hard wearing though i have to say that it does seem harder wearing than like the gtdd pro like the gtdd pro wheel rim you'll know what i'm talking about but the rubber wears really quick on this i've not really seen any signs of that much wear yet it all seems good Still waiting for PD to update the bloody game for this wheel, though, to get the true force. The, sorry, the full force effect. Right, if any of these in front pit, I stay out. in time here, aren't we? Oh, we're losing so much time. I'm going to pick. We're just going to lose shitloads behind them. Going to lose way too much trying to follow them. We'll probably be about a second. I reckon we'll be about a second behind Damien now. Something like that. I think that's Damien just behind us coming past now. Oh, there's Damien coming past. He's ahead. I told you he'd be ahead. I need to get past this Supra, don't I? He just like hung there. He didn't really send it or he didn't back out. Lost us both a bit of time that, but. So much time here, but all right, we're through. See if we can get into Damien's slip, maybe. I think that's the super. That the, the the super up there is the one that came in the chat. That one there, the pink and yellow one, the crazy man one. Damien's just gonna get ahead now, though. We lost. We should have pitted when he pitted. That was my mistake.
Oh. Oh. It's gonna let us go there, I think. Thank you. Really need to pick up a bit of slipstream. Push, 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 push. You're right, Brute. How are we, mate? We're in the Citroen. We're not using the Alpha on the American server. We're using the Citroen because the Citroen's a nicer car to drive. I prefer it, but it's a shame that it's not. The Alpha's definitely quicker, but for the race. But the Citroen's. I enjoy driving the Citroen more than the Alpha. It's a more pleasant experience. A little bit of understeer. Oh, this Lambo's suffering with tire wear, I think. Kev, thank you very much for the fiver, you legend. Chat, big thumbs up on Ledger right there for Kev, please. Congratulations on 65k, really enjoy the content and the live streams. Um, nice one. Thank you very much for the dono, Legend. Chat, big thumbs up on Legend right there for Kev, please. Thank you for the support, Legend. Appreciate it, mate. Need to get in that slip. Damien made a mistake there, which has actually helped a little bit because gave me the slip back. Thank you for that, Kev. By the way, thank you for all the support over the start of this month, by the way, chat. It's been probably one of the best starts of a month I've had for, like, the support in... It's probably since GT7. I'm not even joking. It's been insane. It has been helped by a um, surprise, motherfucker, because, like, honestly, chat, just I don't know what's going on, but he did another 20 in the iRacing stream as well. It's just... Like, I think he's on a mission to make everyone green at the moment. It's just crazy support. But yeah, thank you all the people that are coming into the streams, watching, hitting the like button, subscribing. It's all a massive help to me. It's such a big help. I appreciate you all so much. Darren as well with a free pound and his first ever super chat. Keep up the great driving. Thank you very much, Darren. You didn't watch the iRacing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. To be fair, the eye racing wasn't much we could do. We were just unlucky in eye racing this morning. Like, I've had no luck. Last two streams on eye racing have been so unlucky. I need to go back on it though, and, and we need revenge. Thank you very much for that, Darren. Appreciate the support, Legend. You know what to do, chat. First ever super chat. Smash the Legend emo. Just gotta try and stay with Damien now. I think he's saving his tires a bit. So I think what Damien is doing is saving his front tires through here.
Alright, two more laps. Yeah, the irate, I don't think there was much we could do in them irates. That was just proper. The chat, if you didn't see what happened to us in iRacing chat, you should see the the um, the rejoin someone was doing on the <laughs> Like, it was, um, if you had seen it in, like, a D lobby, Gran Turismo lobby, you'd still be like, what is he doing? Like, you're crazy. Even, like, Kimmy, you'd even call Kimmy, like, crazy for it. And, like, you know what Kimmy's like, but... Yeah, this guy on iRacing just wiped out. I feel sorry for the Porsche as well. That Porsche must have shit his pants because <laughs> he just he just floored it into him, didn't he? I can't believe what I saw. Tires still feel all right here. To a top five anyway chat it's not too bad it's a bit more acceptable i need to figure out the wet weather before they add more dynamic weather <laughs> like honestly chat there's some weird shit going on with tire temperatures i'm telling you i need to download that edio app and have a little bit of play with it maybe try and get some information to you for a video because there's something don't think giving people more front tire temperature i have a theory by the way that might work for a wet weather race i don't know like i don't know i think it could help but i need to test it out but i don't think um though my theory i'll tell you what my theory is if it rains, like obviously, if you think it's going to be a wet weather race, put your um, you know your controller sensitivity and your in-game steering sen sensitivity, put that up to maximum because, in theory, it should create more front tire temperature because that's what happens. That's why you wear out your tires more when you run them on maximum. I don't because obviously controller players run ten, don't they? Controller players run ten sensi sensitivity, which wears their front tires out more. But it also heats the tyres up quite well in the fronts. So I'm wondering if that'll affect the wet weather. There wasn't really much we could do there. Our pace pretty much identical to Damien. Like, yeah, pretty much the same all the way through there. We got a bit unlucky with the pit stop. Right, let's go again. Let's go again. Good race, Damien. <laughs> I got a bit unfortunate with the pit stop. I also drifted for you as as you pitted. <laughs> Did a nice drift for Damien. All right, let's go again. Let's have another go. Let's give it another go, chat.
Uh, good race, Blue. Where, 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 Mad Max? Where did you live? Because <laughs> it is—it was seventeen degrees and sunny here until like when I went in the gym. It was sunny. When I came out of the gym, it was pissing down. Proper pissing down, but it was windy here today, like really windy, yeah, in the UK. But now it's raining. Tomorrow morning, um, tomorrow morning's nice in the morning, then it's going to be a bit like mixed after that. But only 12 degrees tomorrow. We The, the warm weather has finished now. Conster, thank you for the year and a half of mid tier, you legend. A year and a half leeching memberships. This, so otherwise known as P.O. PO Mark 2 there. <laughs> Appreciate the support, the concert. You're always in the stream. If you're always in the stream, you get the gifted memberships. That's how it works. Algorithm knows who's in. It always knows. Apparently Thursday's going to be a bit warmer, but 17 degrees. Not Nothing special. Let's have a little look what the actual weather's like on Thursday, though. Yeah. Nothing special. Our weather is shit right now. I want some sun. I need some sun in my life. I need some, like, nice weather. Yeah, I don't know, Damo. It, 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 shit weather, mate. Like, the UK at the moment, shh. Don't get any nice days at the moment. What's Friday? Like, all the next week's right. So the next 10 day weather forecast for the UK is tomorrow. 12 degrees, like rain, sunshine, and cloud. Monday, cloudy all day with rain, bit, you know, mixture, 13 degrees. Tuesday, heavy rain in the morning, rain and sunshine at midday, drying up and a bit brighter in the evening, but 10 degrees. Wednesday after that, heavy rain, cloudy. Thursday after that, for 15 degrees and a little bit of sunshine, maybe. So Thursday might not be too bad. Friday after that, 15 degrees and cloudy all day. That is our forecast, pretty much for the next week, the next seven days. Lovely. summer but not too what i hope for our summer chat is in the uk nice sunny days not too hot though like for me like i said the other day like 20 to 25 that, that's that's perfect you don't need i mean even up to like 27 is okay we don't need it to be like 32 33 or like that summer a while ago. we don't need 38 because i i will be sweating my you know what off um, like I'll literally have, I'll be a wet t-shirt comp going on in here if, if it's like that 38 degrees again. I can't be coping with that with no air, with no air conditioning. That was too hot, way too hot. Twenty-five is warm. It's warm. Twenty-five is warm in the UK. It feels warm. When it's twenty-five in the UK, chat, it feels quite warm. I don't know if it's different different places, but twenty-five degrees in the UK. I don't know if it's whenever it's like that here. That feels like a warm day in the UK. Can't get. A, we're not having the AC talk again. Not worth it. <laughs> no, not many. 
not unless you're rich do you i mean i mean some maybe some other people get like portable ac units but unless you've got serious cash you don't get ac in your house like you've got to have serious money to be out like i know that might sound stupid but genuinely to get ac in the uk it's not financially viable you have to be quite well off to do that Ginger? I'm not ginger. <laughs> I'm not ginger, mate. Oh, shit. That doesn't matter. It's slow. I didn't mean to do that. I'm as far from a ginger as you can get it. <laughs> Wrong channel. Tijani's the ginger. I'm not the ginger. <laughs> You're at Grove, how are you, mate? I'd, I mean, to be honest, even if I could get a portable one, would, uh, there's nowhere to put it in this bedroom. Like, I don't know if you lot can see. I mean, on... So if you look here, chap, we've got bed, wardrobe there, which I can touch, and monitor here, and there's, there's like about half a foot there, and then a double bed there, and then a very thin gap on the other side of the double bed because the missus has got a dressing table. And then that's it. There's, there's nowhere to put it. Like, you physically wouldn't get it in here. It'd make too much noise. Anyway, the windows are there. So that there's nowhere I could physically um, even have a portable one for hot days. But I do have... I have this. Instead of, a, instead of that, we have, our, we have our Dyson. Get off. We have Mr. Dyson behind here. <laughs> which is about to fall over because I've just picked it up. Get in there. Ugh. So yeah, we've got we got Mr. Dyson behind there. To be fair, it's a rip-off. Don't waste your money on a Dyson fan, chat. I've got to be... <laughs> don't waste your money on a Dyson fan. That's my review of the Dyson fan. Don't do not do it. It's our biggest fan, yeah. But yeah, seriously, chat, don't waste your money on something like that. Just get yourself a cheap fan because that is literally no difference for calling the room down than a cheap bloody B&M, like, what do you call it, fan? Like the free-bladed fan. It's a waste of money, then. <clears throat> uh. Apex can do the, v the V3 review for you now. He's got my old inverted. <laughs> Apex has my old inverted pedals chat, so... A Apex in the chat can do the the review for the inverted V3 for you. He's bought he bought my um, old inverted when they broke and fixed them. There you go. There's your job, Apex. You can do the review. <laughs> right, let's go again. <laughs> Watch this space. I have no idea what the weather's like in um, Holland. No idea. I presume it's a bit warmer than the UK, but a bit warmer maybe. Is it similar to the UK, SS? But may maybe a bit warmer, do you reckon? I, I, I think it'd be slightly warmer. Right. Damien in again. Yeah, he is. But I'm ahead of Damien now. <laughs> That's what you get, Damien.
So do you get like similar do you get like similar levels of rain as well, like SS? Yes. What strategy do we do this time, chat? See where let's see when other people pit. If need to make a better decision this time. Gooch Burger. Doesn't I mean <laughs> some interesting names in here, chat. Might as well stay out there because there was two or three that went in the pits, I think, so. See if we can get ahead of this Mercedes. Might be able to drag him here, I've got a good exit. Didn't know which way he was going then. for the car up ahead. Probably should have pitted there, but 
I need to try and get I need to try and get a little bit further ahead of them other cars. The pitted. No, I'm not getting up at 6 a.m. I don't think, no. No. Too early, chat. The missus would not be very happy. <laughs> She's off for a week now, chat, by the way. She's got a week off, so... Um, I don't think she'd be very happy if I um, woke her up at 6 a.m. Yeah, Monday, by the way, we'll probably start a little bit earlier, I think, because I might do, might start at like 8 a.m. on Monday. Might be better to just try and get past these now and then pit late, you know? If I can get past these with no penalties, please hope I have a Murray Walk at that. But if we can do that, it might be better just to stay out. there. I didn't expect him to turn across as violently as he did. Yeah, oh yeah, that makes sense. Give me a penalty as well. Uh, I told you, I just jinxed myself. I literally have just jinxed myself. Now push up Damien's gained shit loads there, hasn't he? We were like we were about 1.5 ahead of Damien. Now we're just we're 2.5 behind. <laughs> oh well. Lost four seconds in one lap. Probably should have pitted. I'm just going to call it a day after this race, you know, chat. It's not going right. No, nothing's going right for me today in anything. I'm just having a nightmare. Like, this game, we're just driving like an absolute tosser. And I racing, I just got wiped out every race. <laughs> nothing's going right at all. 
So I think I'm just going to call it quits after this and um, chill out for the rest of the night chat. We've done five and a half hours today, though, to be fair, so it's not too bad for a Saturday. Yeah. I mean, I've been driving this Citroen quite well on this account. I've been pretty fast with it, faster than I thought I would be, but um, I'm just not focused. I'm not focused at all. I don't know why. Seem to be really all over the place. Oh, a bit unfortunate. Got a bit of damage off that. Yeah. I mean, we had, we've had a couple of alright races, but the last race was alright, wasn't it? We got a right, top five out of it. We'll probably finish this about P11. We're not going to be in this. We're not going to be in the top ten in this race, chat. Nowhere near. Not even close. See, what are you doing? That wasn't terrible, that. Yeah, I think we're about 
probably a battle for around P11, P10, I think, looking at the field. We're in a battle for that, like, bottom few, though. This is, a, this is actually looking like a low 53 this lap, but obviously we have to pit. So this Citroen can still do good laps right at the end. We have P10, I don't know if there's P9 yet. We're probably outside the top 10, to be honest, I think. Because there's more cars coming down. Is that another car we're losing on our left? No, P9. I mean, we're P9, but that's shit, isn't it? <laughs> Battling up there as well. Ah. What a donkey, what a donkey. That didn't go very well, did it? That did not go very well, chap. Uh, what to do, what to do? Should we, what's this? this um, yeah. Should we do one more and hope for the best? Should we do one more and hope for the best, chap? 
Should we do one more and hope for the best, or? No, I'm gonna do one more from the back, and we're gonna have, we're gonna have no, not two more, definitely not two more, chat. One more. It's 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 Saturday, chat, and I've already done. This will be six hours of streaming today, so no, just one more, and then that'll do me. One more, no penalties, clean run, just perfect timing of the pit stop, and a top five. Let's make it happen, chat. Let's make it happen. PR mini goal. Uh, yeah, can't do it up here. Unfortunately, that's for me and the little one when we play downstairs. Can't do it up here, it's no space. Listen, Henry, to be fair, you probably, with the way my day's gone on, on racing today and last night on iRacing, I wouldn't be surprised if a car lands on top of our car from another game, like the way this is done. Like, honestly, we've had so much bad luck. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if the most random shit happens in this next race. Like, a car goes through an invisible wall and takes us out from the wrong side of the track. That's the kind of shit that's happened today. I think we'll win. Not this too. The, the driver in the the um, front's too quick. He's doing. He's got good pace. I think he's a bit too quick. That Brazilian. He's got. Seems a little bit too quick. I think. And also we're in the Citroen. Citroen's not really as quick as the Alpha over the race. The Alpha's about three to four seconds over race pace quicker than this Citroen. So, yeah, we probably won't have a chance of beating the Alpha. To be fair, we've had some really good days quite recently on I on GT and on iRacing. Like the first day on Road America was really good. Interlagos went really well as well. But um, yeah, we've had some brilliant GT World Series races and days. We've like we've been driving really well since we had this wheel. But the lock yesterday and today, the lock on this game and iRacing has just been awful. Like absolutely awful. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. You have days like that. Like on iRacing this morning, there, is, there was nothing I could do. It was just every race was just some guy who wanted to win the race on lap one, took us out or a crash in front of us or someone spinning when they're crashing, driving head on into us. <laughs> it was just crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't make your own luck when someone's going the wrong way on the track. <laughs> I just think that everyone has good and bad days, whether it's iRacing, Gran Turismo. There's some days where there's nothing you can do. Like, literally, it will just go... Everything that can go wrong will go wrong, whether you're driving perfect or not. It will go wrong. Oh, yeah, that, that, that happened as well on yesterday's stream. Um, on... Um, was it... Geez, when was it on Gran Turismo? We came out of the pits and the, the paddle shifters just as we... Literally, we're on for a podium, having a really good race. Boom. Paddle shifters stop working. <laughs> We've had some really bad luck this last like this last week, to be fair. Yeah, it's just it's just the way it goes. I agree, Sam. Like some days you just it'll just nothing what no no matter what you do, even if I back out, say I back out of a situation, something else will hit me. It'll be it'd be there'd be literally nothing you can do. It's just that 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 type of day where everything goes wrong. Uh, the, the paddle shift, it didn't break. It wasn't a break, it's just a glitch in the software on the wheel. So the wheel, the wheel software has an, uh, a bug in it at the moment where the paddle shift has stopped working. It happens, it's happened about, we've had it about, I think eight or nine times since we've had the wheel now. It's quite, it's quite a common issue to be honest. Um, but yeah, the, um, I, it's just the way it is, isn't it? Like, iRacing's just not gone our way today or yesterday.
No, it was only the paddle shifters that stopped working. Nothing else. Nothing else is broken. This wheel's fine. It's just a bug in the system, in, in the software. So there's something that deactivates the paddle shifters. Everything else works fine. You just have to turn it off and turn it back on to get the paddle shifters working again. Um, it'll get fixed in a software update. The wheel's fine. Like, the wheel's... I've not had any issues with anything on the wheel other than the paddle shifters, which randomly stopped working. It's happened on iRacing as well. We had that at Interlagos as well, remember? At Interlagos on the last few laps, boom, the paddle shifters. Bankrupt? No, I don't think so. Not not as far as I know. I think they've had some amazing years for profit, Fanitech. I don't think they're going bankrupt. Not not from what not what from what you can gather. They've sold huge amounts, haven't they? I, I don't really know. I haven't looked at any financial reports from them, so I have no idea. Yeah, but is if that's on, is that on the GTDD Pro or a GT Extreme? Because the GTDD Pro, the issue with the GTDD um, Pro is a totally separate issue. This is a wheel issue for the Extreme because it's happened on iRacing as well. This isn't a game issue. This is a wheel issue, an individual issue to the Extreme. So if it's not the Extreme that you've done that on with the controller, uh, yeah. So it's a, it's a different it's a different issue that Roscoe. That's that's just a separate issue for the GTDD Pro probably. I've not heard anyone else having that issue on the GT Pro, to be honest. Oh yeah, Kai. Kai yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna comment. I'm not gonna comment. I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep my opinion to myself and stuff like that. <laughs> I need another Wii though, chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go for another Wii. I'm gonna pee myself. Right, one more race. Smash that like button. We're at the two hour mark. And um, uh, we're 13 likes away from 200, chat. Let's see if we can get them 200 in in the next few minutes to smash it up to 200 likes. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get close to 250 before the end of this race. Just gonna go for another Wii. Right, we're back. We're back. <laughs> Ow. We go again, chat. We go again. <laughs> yeah, there'd be no GT World Champions in here, chat. <laughs> Impossible. I wouldn't even try. Not fast enough. Not in here fast enough to compete for the World Finals. Unless they make it top 50. <laughs> top 50 and we've got a chance of making it there.
Oh, we we take part in it, attacker, but we we won't be make, we won't be making we won't be qualifying, mate. It's impossible. Like, you have to be, like, honestly, it's not even worth me take even attempting to qualify because I'm nowhere near quick enough. Not even vaguely quick enough to qualify for the for the GTL finals. Um, that that nation's five drivers. You have to be like Paul, Josetti, Gallo, like Medi, Antonio. You have to be one of them to have a chance. And even one of them, I'm telling you now, there's going to be a situation where there's going to be a big shock because there's so few places available that you're going to get some big shocks. Like even Gallo could not make it, someone like that. I, I reckon it's going to be a big shock in it. Like someone really quick is not going to make it. Crashing blind. <laughs> a lot of pleb in it and a lot of crashing. We, we're having a bad day today in general. Like, the luck, I just. Yeah, it's just one of them bad luck days, but I'm sure it'll switch around and we'll get some YouTuber luck again. We need some YouTuber luck, don't we? gonna bump I didn't know if he had a tackle bump right okay well play play smart that's a good idea <laughs> oh there's a car off spinning off into the distance This is going to be the race to finish off with, chat. We're going to get all the lock in this race. I can feel it. a bit there but I think it was a wise choice because now I've got a gap to push Damien might want to overtake now Is he gonna want to overtake or is he gonna bump? No, he's gonna bump, okay. Oh, the rear went. Catch it. These two will have to change tyres, so we need to pit here, I think, unless we can get past them.
Damien's going to have the run on us now, isn't he? Because he's got the slip off the hill. We lost out on the end of that lap. I don't know whether we've come out behind them other cars that pitted. <laughs> Uh, there's one of them. There's two of them. We have really... Oh, another nightmare. Don't think he'll want to fight. He might, though. Will he? Oh, yeah. We're going to fight it. Oh, he's gone off. He's gone off. Oh, he's just got... Oh, I think he just got wiped out, chap. I think Damien's just got some of my lock. I think that car behind us just sideswiped him. I don't think he meant to do it, but it looked pretty savage, whatever happened. All I heard was a big bang, and I think Damien ended up in the barrier. He might have got a tank slapper, possibly with the dirty tyres. Right, that's, a, that's handy, because let's get close to this car and rob that position off him for free. I'll see you later, Kifa, mate. Kifa, sorry. Have a good evening, enjoy your dinner. I'm going to make myself some dinner after this race, some poached egg on toast. So after we finish this race, we're going to, I'm finishing the stream chat and we're going to go and make some poached egg on toast. So I'm starving. I've had no dinner yet. Is he going to fight it? He's got a pen, he might back out, I don't know. He's backing out. Mess that up. Mess that up big time. too much. Catch him up.
Seems to be struggling for a bit of pace, this um, Alpha in front of us. Try and get a good exit here so we can stay close for the straight to get the slip. Even more time with where we are now because this driver on the right is struggling. Try and get a bit of slip back. Lot lost about a second there with that. Probably more than a second actually because of the after he took a weird line, didn't he? Maybe 1.5. Need to get that slip. I need to get past him here. Come on, give me that slip. Give me it. Ending that. Clevin' it there, you donkey. <clears throat> Better lap than the last one, obviously, but <laughs> not great. Oh, you... Just got another penalty. Hit! <laughs> I can't... I'm having a nightmare in the last few days, I tell you. Eye racing. Now this. I don't know why I did that there. I didn't even need to do that. I could have just... Look, trying to push too much. But the front left is starting to fade a bit. I need to build that gap up. I need to get it to near a second, don't I? Oh, 
he's gonna get back past me. Might be able to break late, can I? Got it, got it back. Whew. At least we held on to that position. Try and hold on now for the slip. Now the problem we've got is that the front left is dying. This is where the Citroen shit on these last two laps. Just keep it floored. That's how we need to do it. That was perfect. Okay, we'll take a P4, chat. If we can hold on to a P4, I'll definitely take that. For a two... We definitely could have been fighting for a podium in this race, but oh well. They're going side by side up there. Oh, that looks nasty. I thought he was going to send that then. I think he thought better of that. <laughs> At least we end with a better race anyway. We end with a slightly better race. Two penalties, but overall... I mean, we were doing lap seven, 53.0 with this car. On lap seven is pretty strong. It's not a bad lap at all. Alright, we held on for a P4. Just about. Not too bad, chat. Not too bad. Not too bad from the back. We'll take that. We'll take that to finish off with. At least we finish with a solid run. Oof. Uh, I hope tomorrow... Well, I'm, I don't know if I'm doing dailies tomorrow, to be honest. Not sure we'll be doing this tomorrow. But, um... Whatever we do tomorrow, I hope we have better luck. <laughs> Whatever we play, whether it's iRacing or GT, I hope I have better luck than what I've had over the last few days. Um, but yeah. So tomorrow, trying to think what we're going to do here. Um, I don't know whether we're going to do... I don't know what time I'll be like. I don't know whether it's going to be an early one or I go to the gym first, then stream, then watch the football with the little one. Or whether I'm going to do stream, football. I don't, and then stream again. I have no idea tomorrow yet. I really don't know what the plan is for tomorrow. Um, I'll see what, t I'll see how I feel. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested in ACC. Sorry, Andrew. It's just that I've just got no, I just don't know. I just don't know. I, I'd rather play iRacing. And at the moment I've got like, I feel like my two games now are I racing and um, I feel like my two races now are I racing and GC7. I don't really want to add the third game in there. It just it will just become too much trying to mix three games and stay on pace in three different games. I'd just rather do I racing and GC7. I, when AC2 comes out, then I'll jump on that. But um, yeah, at the moment, I just don't have any. I just don't really feel like playing ACC. I'll wait for a set of course or two, I think, before I go back on that. Um, when a set of course or two comes out, obviously, we'll um, do some of that. But at the moment, iRacing and GT is the way I want to do it. Yeah, that, I I just wish they had default setups on, on ACC. It would it'd be really nice if they had some form of default setup racing. Um, it would definitely make it more enjoyable, I think. 
But um, yeah. I, even then, at the moment, I I, I want to find pace on on i racing. So the more I play i racing, the better I'll get, and then I'll be able to transfer. Like the more I play on i racing, the easier it's gonna be to um transfer from like GT seven to i racing. Do you know what I mean? And get used to it and find more pace on it. So. So I feel Road Atlanta should be a good week when that's on in a few weeks because we did quite well there last time at Road Atlanta. I'll pay, I think the Ferrari's good at Road Atlanta as well. So um, we'll see how that goes when that pops up again. But yeah, Road America, our pace is all right. It's just I think the Lambo's a bit too quick and we keep getting in the wrong lobbies. Like 10k I rating, I can't compete with 10k I rating. That's just that's way too quick for me. It's like it was like a second over a second a lap quicker. It's crazy pace them drivers, but. Um, yeah, tomorrow, I don't know whether, what time in the morning, if I, if it's morning time, like midday morning-ish, it'll probably be GT because I'm going to try and do iRacing later on so that we don't end up in with them drivers again because that wasn't, yeah, there was no point us racing 10k drivers because we can't compete with that. But um, yeah, if we do GT in the day tomorrow at all chat, probably going to do lobby racing. Um might just do some lobby fun. I might even do some group two at um well, we might do one race group two at um Fuji just for a little to see what it's like with the dirty air. And then we'll do some group three. Or we might just do GT3. I don't know if I can be asked doing Fuji. We'll just test that out on on Monday morning because I can go live at like half eight probably. Um maybe half eight Monday. I don't know about eight. I'll try go eight, but don't want to wake the missus up too early. Um she's got a week off, so yeah, we'll try and go live as early as we can on Monday um, with the new daily races because, yeah, I can get... I, I don't have to take the kids to school. They're off school next week. And um, the missus is off as well. So I can get on as early as possible, really, for the Monday race. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today, chat. Um, we've done... I think that takes us to about six hours today, around about six hours of streaming today. So that'll do us, and then we'll see tomorrow. I don't know. We might only be doing, like, three hours tomorrow. Might might do more. I'll see how I feel, whether I want to do iRacing again in the night. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what mood I'm in, whether after the football, whether I fancy doing a bit of iRacing and um, having a couple of races on there to try and regain some pride. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for coming into the stream. Appreciate you turning up. Remember to smash that like on your way out. We're currently on 214 likes. Let's see if we can get it close to 250. Thank you to any new subscribers that have subscribed. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for some more racing chat. Have a brilliant evening. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm off to get some food because I'm starving. And um, yeah, take care, everyone. Thank you for the support with the super chats and also the gifted memberships and all that stuff and the membership shout outs. I appreciate it, chat. And um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye.